A sea of police officers and other mourners filled the streets around the Brooklyn funeral home where the service for Wen Jian Lu took place. He was 32. He'd come to America with his family from China when he was 12. He'd married just two months before he was shot. His shooting and that of his partner Rafael Ramos in their patrol car in the midst of nationwide controversy over several incidents of police shootings of unarmed black men shocked New York and the country. The incident has also added to pressures on New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio as he arrived to join the dead officer's family in paying tribute. All of our city is heartbroken today. We've seen it over these last two weeks. We've seen the pain that people feel from all walks of life, a sense of appreciation for the sacrifices of this family and of the Ramos family. The caring son, a loving husband, and a loyal friend. You are an amazing man. Even though he left us early, but I believe that he is still with us. But outside, despite an appeal not to, many officers turned their backs as the mayor spoke, a sign of the soured relations between him and rank and file New York police. And the solemnness on display here and the sadness of family loss have undoubtedly been amplified by the fact that this comes against the backdrop of new national tension and unease over policing and police relations with minority communities. Nick Childs, BBC News.